G'day folks, it's Shano calling out to you from the uh, base section at Concept Music again. Hope you're all well. Uh, today we're here to check out a new range of um, bass combos from Ampeg, a famous bass amp company with a, a long tradition in making fine amplification. They've entered the D-Class circuitry combo market. Um, it's pretty obvious what market they're tapping into and who they're sort of competing against. Um, but yes, yeah, a really, really good range of amplifiers. They've got five models ranging from 30 to 500 watts. Um, what we've got here is I'm playing, going to be playing through the RB210, which is 500 watts. We've got a uh, pretty old school looking vibe, actually. It's a modern sound, but an old school looking vibe. So we've got um, the old Tolex and a grill cloth, an old vintage grill cloth. Kind of harkens back almost to the portaflexes. Uh, yeah, so... Um, the D-Class circuitry, let's talk about that. Um, there's a lot of people come in thinking that the D stands for digital, um, but it's not. It's still an analog component. Um, it's akin to sort of solid state amplification. The difference between this and something like um, A, A, B um, valve amps is that they use MOSFET transistors um, that act as switches um, rather than using sort of linear gain devices. So what that allows for the amp is to be a lot more efficient in using energy and power, and therefore really reduces the heat output by a substantial margin, sometimes up to 75%. So what that means is you don't have to have massive heavy heat sinks in the amps, and big power amps are gone. So um, for instance, the 210, the old BA210, I think used to weigh in at something like nearly 22 kilos, maybe plus. Um, whereas this one, and that was 450 watts, where this 210 is 500 watts, so it's 50 watts um, more powerful. Uh, and I think that weighs in at about, oh, it's, um, I'm just trying to think, I think it's something like 17 kilograms, 17 and a half kilograms. Um, so significant weight differences. Um, but there's been, you know, people sort of tend to think of it, is it a, is it a reduction in sound quality? Uh, by no means is that the case. So D-class circuitry is, it's been around for a while, it's kind of newish to bass amps, um, but it doesn't mean any reduction in sound quality. So today I thought we'd just go through sort of four or five sounds, um, for different settings. Um, I'm going to go through different settings for different styles. So we're just going to go through the top panel of the amplifier here. Um, we've got a classic three band EQ here, bass, mid-range and treble. Um, we've got a phones input and an auxiliary input. We've got the ultra high, the classic Ampeg ultra high, ultra low switches. Speak for themselves, but pushing that in is going to give you a little brighter, a bit more top end. Pushing that in is going to just give you a little bit more bottom. Um, we've got a master volume. We've got the, the new super grit technology channel, um, which I can either push in um, manually or it's got a foot switch on the back. Um, <clears throat> that's got its own separate level to how much you can set it and it's got um, how much overdrive you want to put in and out. Um, as I said on the uh, on the YouTube video, you can also just use this as a clean boost channel as well. Um, you could take the grid out and just set whatever level you wanted as a clean boost separately from what you've got going on here. Um, on the RB210, which we've been using here, we have got uh, the foot switch for the overdrive. Um, oh, sorry, here we've got the foot switch for the overdrive here, the external speaker out. Um, we've got a ground lift. Um, we've got a fex loop and uh, the DR, the DI out, then we've got direct out, and it looks like we've got a horn uh, switch here for a horn off and on too, so we've got a little horn as well in this one with the, uh, with the 210 speakers. And I should just say, um, we've got 0 dB and minus 15 dB inputs at the top here as well for active passive bases. So, we're gonna go through some of the sounds, guys. I'm gonna start off with a fat finger style sound, finger style funk sound, both pickups on this Yamaha VB434. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the ultra high off. I'm putting the ultra low in. I've got the bass flat. I've got the mid-range backed off to what looks like about minus five. They don't have numbers there. Um, and I've got the trebs into the positives. It looks like about, you know, it would be about two o'clock on a clock. And this is, hopefully we'll get a, yeah, a nice fat finger style sound. So we're going to use some drums today because uh, I want to, Hear what I want you guys to hear each setting what some what the bass would sound like in between a kick and a snare and I've got that plugged into the little auxiliary in which you should take advantage of on all these combos they come out with these auxiliary ins there's so many good little apps out there on phones for drums and 
keeping your groove on and getting your timing right. So not only we're we using the auxiliary in, but we're going to use some drum sounds just to hear how these sounds are sitting in the mix. Okay, so we'll get on. We'll do a. We'll do this uh, finger-style funk sound. Okay, a little bit rough there, but you'll get the idea. All right, so we'll move on to, let's move on to a slap sound. <clears throat> so um, with the slap, we want, I think we'll put, I think we'll put both the ultra high and ultra low on. So we'll put the ultra high and low on. Uh, we'll stick the bass up to about two or three o'clock um, positive. So two or three o'clock. Um, we'll put the mid range up to, and we'll put the treble to minus three, and we'll put the mid-range up to about three o'clock. So bass three, mid-range about three, and the treble back a bit. Both pickups on. So there's our slap sound. Um, we'll bring the drums in. We might just turn the volume down a bit on this one. So yeah, nice, that was quite a nice rounded sound. Again, um, just suggestions, but that'll get you in that kind of good slap territory. Um, I think the next thing we'll try is um, finger style sound. We'll go, the, sorry, the, you know, the honky back pickup finger style sound. Uh, so we're just gonna back the front pickup up a bit on the P, get the P pickup up a bit. I don't like the volume or the tone all the way up on this. Right now, we've got to adjust this. Um, I reckon this one, let's put the bass, let's put the bass flat, let's put the mid-range, we'll leave the mid-range about there, I think, and we'll put the treble flat, we'll leave the mid-range there, we'll take the ultra high off. Um, so we'll leave both the ultra high and ultra low off. So we get, there it is. Is our honk. Yeah, there's our honk. So we'll do a little, I think there might even be a bit of piano in this one, but you'll get the idea. I get carried away. That'll do. So some finger style honk there. Um, yeah, that's sort of three sort of definite sounds that you're gonna someone's gonna really be tapping into and wanting to know about. So that's a very good honk sound actually. That's, so that's um, actually 
very useful. Um, sort of liking this, liking this amp, very good. Um, all right, um, we might as well talk about the um, SGT, which is the Supergrid, I think Supergrid technology, which is their, their overdrive system. So they're kind of trying to, I think they're trying to emulate maybe one of their valves, with the <coughs> nice and dirty, opened up and getting a little bit of drive. So their valve amps. Um, so um, this is foot switchable on the back as well. So keeping in mind that um, you can, actually I should mention that with the foot switchable on the back and the SGT because you can use, you can switch this in purely just to have an overdrive sound. But one thing you can do with um, an overdrive channel if it's got a foot switch, you can just use it as a clean boost. For instance, um, if I put the SGT on, which I would be on stage, I'd be doing with my feet. <clears throat> I could, uh, let's put everything flat in the EQ. Now, I could take the grit all the way down. Um, put the level all the way up, take the grit all the way down. So I could be playing something along just in my normal channel, foot switch the EQ in, and if I wanted to do a solo, it's boosting, so I've got a clean boost there for chords. So don't forget that you can just use the overdrive channel just as a clean boost, which uh, with the foot switch makes it very useful. Um, I don't have any drums for the, um, for the overdrive one. I don't even actually, don't use a lot of overdrive. Um, so what I'll do is, I might use a Saltations bass line here from my band. Um, overdrive. Let's put, um, I think we'll put the ultra high. I think we'll leave those off. We'll try them with both on. Um, I'll put the bass to about three, mid range to about five. Now we're going to back the treble off to around minus five. Um, put the grid up. Got our level there. We don't want to blow Shilk's levels here, so that'll do. All right. So normally I would play finger style. You'd get this sound. Turn that up. Put both pickups on. That's what it would sound like, um, finger style, and with a pick, which I'm very bad at. So forgive me for my my pick playing, but. Overdrive, and if you want to get some chords going on, um, got plenty of punch in that overdrive. So keeping in mind that's foot switchable. Uh, again, you can use it as a as a clean boost. So there's there's sort of like four or five different settings that um, straight away you can tap into into this amp. Um, um, I think uh, everything I've heard so far out of it, actually, I'm really impressed with. Yeah. Straight up, I think that's a, actually a very useful little combo. Cool, guys. So in closing, um, look, in the real, in the ideal world, um, I would be playing through that magnificent Ampeg um, V4B head at the back there, 100 watt tube amp through uh, two SVT cabs. Sounds amazing. I mean, to me, that's where the ultimate bass sound lies. But it's also on special that whole setup for five grand, and it's quite heavy. So I'm not going to sit here and say that the, um, the new combos are, are going to exactly emulate the sound that you're going to get out of the, the old tube head, but they come damn close. And, you know, where I play in Perth, um, a lot of the stages, are, the bass section I've got is about the size of a magic carpet. I've got to put my stuff. I don't want to be carrying really heavy gear. Um, I want kind of light in and out. A lot of my gigs, it's several bands, so you've got to get off stage quick, get on stage set up, so you don't have time to be taking big rigs on and miking them up. So the sound that you get out of these these lighter D-class combos is exceptional. It's it's knocking on the door of being pretty close to to the sound. I'm not going to sit here and say it is, but it, it's, it's, it's damn good sound. 
So um, we've got the range here. We've got the range from the um, 30 watts to the 500 watts. I'd suggest coming in and having a play. Um, bring your own bass in. It's always a good idea to bring your own gear in too that you want to hear. Um, but you know, we've gone through a big array of sounds here and there's a lot of different, a lot of different variety of sounds have come out of this amp. So um, keep that in mind when you come in, plug in, um, say good day to the boys and we'll see you next time. <laughs>